Here's our homemade blast cabinet. It's all finished. It's built out of an old oil tank. We have a window here that we cut into it. And a door on the end. The door has a bunch of little latches around the side of it. I just got the one hooked right now. But you unthread these and then you just turn them to the side. Then you got a door with two hinges on it. We have a extra lip along the edge here to help seal up the door so when it's closed you don't get as much dust flying out of it. Got a rack in here that you hold your pieces on. We used angle iron in big long lines like this so it would be really easy to slide a piece into it. It's a good idea to keep a couple pieces of metal in your blast cabinet so that you can when you have a piece in here you can set them underneath it to position it how you want so you can see it and get to it real nice with the gun and the gloves. Up above we have a fluorescent light. It's like one that you would have under your kitchen cabinets. And there's a piece of plexiglass that protects it. That slides right out. Then we have a shop vac hooked up to ours. This side here is vacuum, so that hose goes to this spot right here, and that sucks the dust out of your air in there, so it helps you see better. And then this one is blowing air out, so that one comes in here, and it goes in above that light. So it comes in above this light right through that hole. When you have this piece of plexiglass here, it blows the air out this way and in front of that light to keep it clean up there so you don't get stuff there then it blows it down across to your window so that it helps you see better there the window here is just a piece of plexiglass got it sealed in there with some tape to help seal it up better the top is held down by a piece of angle iron that's just bolted down to hold the top and on the sides where it slides a piece of eighth inch metal and then a thin strip of metal on top of there that are welded together so that that plastic just slides down inside a groove. Where the cord for the light goes in we just have a hole and then it's all silicon shut so that stuff can't leak out of there. Our door latches are really simple it's just a bolt that's welded to the tank then you got a piece of metal with two holes in it then there's a nut welded to that piece and then a bent bolt and that just threads in and that just pushes up against the door to hold it shut. Our air hose comes in on the side. We have a hole that we torched in it and then we have a Romex connector that you would use for electrical and the hose just goes in there and it seals fairly well. It leaks a little bit of stuff around it but it works. Our blast gun is a siphon feed blast gun. It's about a $20 gun. You just have air coming in and then this goes down to a tube that you shove down in your stuff down in the end and then you just have a replaceable tip on it. On the window we just have these replaceable little stick-on sheets of plastic stuff. They're a lot cheaper than buying a new piece of plexiglass so we use them. That's the piece that we have to scrape all of our blast media back down to the other end so we can suck it up with our tube. Just a board that we cut to the shape of the tank with a piece of metal and a pipe on that with a brace on it. This works is that piece of pipe has a groove down into it and then a slot that goes down so that we can take our pipe here with a little bolt welded in it. You take and you shove that in it and then you twist it down so it locks it in. You just insert the rod, push, and then you gotta pull up on this handle so you have it shoving that down so it pushes all the stuff. Push it in, pull it back a bit, and then lift up so that thing lifts up so you ain't dragging stuff back. And then just pull it so it's slightly through the hole. A good thing to do with your blast cabinet. Wear some like little rubber gloves.
these are milking gloves. But wear them because you're going to sweat when you're inside here with your hand. It's going to sweat and it's going to get your gloves all gunky. So you want to wear these to help keep your gloves in there clean. And after you're done sandblasting, good thing to do, stick your hand in there and then just hold it and pull it out so that they can dry.